All right, so we're going to learn about uh, a pretty big idea in statistics, something called a normal distribution and the normal curve. So a normal distribution is a distribution that can be modeled by a bell-shaped curve that is symmetric about the mean. This is called the normal curve. So here we have a nice little example. You can see that it is symmetrical with the mean, median, mode all, all close to each other in value right there. Um, and it looks like a bell. This is how it gets that name. It's a bell-shaped curve, the normal curve. So let's take a look at recognize, when we can recognize that. Is the following variable likely to have a normal distribution? So is it bell-shaped? Is it a bell-shaped curve? Is it symmetric about the mean? Those are the things we're looking for. All right, so part A, the heights of all people in a large group. What's helpful is to see the histogram of that. So here's the histogram of the distribution. It lets us see the shape of the graph. And yeah, look at that. This is, for the most part, a bell-shaped curve, pretty symmetrical about the middle right there. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so we would say yes. The heights of people in a large group are likely to be normally distributed. So what that means is your average height, most of the people are gonna be pretty close to that average height. You're gonna have less people extremely taller than that. That's why the curve goes down and you're gonna have fewer people um, extremely shorter than the average height. But if you have a large group of people, in general, most of the people are going to be pretty close to your average height. So it would take the shape of um, a bell curve, it would be, it's likely to be normally distributed. All right, part B, the probability of landing on each of equal parts of a spinner. So if you take a look at the histogram, we can see this is not a bell-shaped curve. It maybe looks symmetric, you know, maybe the left side mirrors the right side here, um, but it definitely does not have the bell-shaped curve. So we would say that this is not normally distributed. Meaning it does not have a normal distribution. Um, the reason for that, each outcome um, of a spinner has the same probability of occurring as any other. As any other outcome. All right, part C, the scores on an easy test. Do they represent a normal distribution? Well, if we take a look at the histogram, the shape of the data, we can see that it is skewed left. So this is not symmetric about the mean. Um, so we would say that it's not normally distributed. And the reason for this is, you know, if you have an easy test, more students are likely to score higher. So here are our higher test scores. We can see more students are, high, are scoring higher when it's an easy test. So more students are likely 
to score higher. So that one is not normally distributed. All right, last one, the number of children in a family. So if we look at the histogram of the data, we can see the shape is skewed right. Like, ooh, yeah, really skewed right. Um, that's not normally distributed. So it is not a normal distribution. Um, the reason why is most families have zero, one, two, or three children, um, but very few families have, you know, 10, 8, 9, 10, or more families. That's why it is skewing to the right. These numbers are getting smaller, smaller, smaller. It's definitely not symmetrical. So many families... have zero, one, two, or three children. But very few families have 10 or more.